everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out this Born Pretty Nail Tips and Glue set. It's one of those full cover gel systems like a Prey or Beetles. And I also wanted to experiment a little bit and try to recreate Chon Legend's stained glass nail set. He is so talented and I'm just so inspired by this nail set. I think it's so cool that it's see-through and it really does look like stained glass. I don't think mine will be nearly as good as his, but I'll give it my best and just see how it goes. I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Getting right into the unboxing, this Born Pretty gel set retails for $32.99 on the Born Pretty website. I'll have it linked down below in case you're interested. The kit comes with a mini nail file, an instruction manual, some French tip nail guides, some red cream powder and I'm just opening this up to take a look and as you can see I made a little bit of a mess <laughs> and it is really pretty I'm definitely gonna be using this in the future you get a mini nail lamp and a little cord you get the six-in-one nail glue gel and lastly you get a bunch of nail tips plugging in the little nail lamp and testing it out when you press the button it stays on for 60 seconds automatically which is fine and works great for this method this kit comes with a bunch of different nail tips different sizes different lengths i picked out the ones that i wanted and now using the six in one nail glue i'm going to be applying it to the inside of the tip it didn't say anything about having to etch the inside of the tip so this should just be fine i'm lining it up on my natural nail and slowly carefully pushing it down and curing the lamp worked out perfectly it was super easy to cure what i needed to while holding it and i'm just going to be repeating that process on all the nails and flash curing them trying to make sure i don't get any air bubbles i got one on the thumbnail but for the rest of them i think i did okay with avoiding that and i know my natural nails are not the greatest i do have a lot of anxiety and i'm a nail biter as weird as that sounds a nail artist being a nail biter um so when i'm not wearing nails i tend to pick up my cuticles and just pick up my nails it's something i'm definitely trying to work on and get better with but just before anyone says anything i already know i'm working on it and as far as this kit goes this whole process went by so smooth so easy it was so simple to just tap this lamp and hold it in place it took me no time at all to get these tips on and now i'm just gonna file and shape a little bit i cut them down a tiny bit and now i'm using a drill in the cuticles just so that they really blend and mesh i want to make sure that this is as seamless as possible so i'm using my makar e-drill for that i also buffed out all the nails that are gel will stick and i'm going to be applying a base coat now this will just help to give us a smooth surface to work on now for my nail art, I'm using this inspiration photo here. I'm going to be doing that angel sort of stained glass for the middle nail. And my idea is to just get down all the black outlining first and then go in and fill everything in with some jelly colors. And this nail art really isn't anything all that complicated or it's really not too precise at all. So it's pretty simple and easy to do. It's just very time consuming. You really don't need to be exact with your lines or where you're placing things. That's kind of the beauty behind stained glass that you don't need it to be super precise to understand what the picture is supposed to be it just took me a long time to complete all the outlining moving on to our ring finger this one is going to be the rose this one really does remind me of beauty and the beast with the stained glass rose i think it would be really cool to do a beauty and the beast set with one of those as one of the nails i have not done beauty and the beast yet so i think that'll be really fun let me know if you guys would like to see that but back to it like i said same thing it really doesn't need to be too precise it just needs to look like a rose and look like leaves and a stem i'm adding in these extra little lines extra detailing in the background and that's that's really about it. The outlining just needs to vaguely resemble what you're going for. I'm pretty happy with how that one turned out so far. Onto the pointer nail, I'll be doing the cross you can see in his nail design. This one was a little bit more tedious just because the shape that you're going for is pretty precise and there's really not a lot of room for creative freedom or for error. The shapes all needed to be more precise than any of the other nails that we end up doing. Very geometric. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that now. Thank you. 
onto the pinky nail i'm doing this sort of dove with its wings out again like i mentioned before the shape is much looser it doesn't need to be so precise it's not geometric it doesn't need to be perfect so it wasn't hard none of these nails were hard just very time consuming And last but not least, for the thumb, I'm just going to be doing this really simple flower design. Really not much to it. Again, does not need to be perfect. It just needs to look like a flower. Resemble a flower. <laughs> I definitely think that this design is beginner friendly. It doesn't require a lot of precision or accuracy. It just requires a lot of time. So if you have the time, I would definitely give this a try. I think this nail art definitely gives off a really really cool look to the nails and it looks a lot harder than it is. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up now. And now for the fun part, we get to fill it all in. Starting on the pinky nail, I'm using this white and I'm filling in the Dove. I did not have a jelly white, so I just mixed some white polish with a little bit of clear to make it a little milky. Some colors I didn't have and I had to mix my own, so it wasn't quite as transparent as I would have liked or as a regular jelly color would have been. But I did really enjoy getting to fill in all these little areas, like coloring it in like a coloring book, and really just get to watch it come to life. I wish I would have had more jelly colors to work with. I only have six colors that are actually meant to be jelly. So I did my best with what I had, but I definitely feel like if I had more of a color range or just more ideal colors, the ones that I have are more neon and more bright. Um, this definitely would have turned out a lot better. I think the see-through effect would be a lot better because I had to mix my own colors. A lot of them were not as transparent. They weren't very see-through, a little bit more cloudy. So maybe this will be a nail design for me to revisit sometime in the future. Also, I did want to mention I'm using Beetles nail art brushes and I'm also using mostly Beetles gel polish and their jelly color set. I'll link everything that I use today down below, anything relevant. So if you're interested in anything like that, it'll all be down below. And as you can see here for the angel's skin tone, it is so not jelly at all. This one, I just didn't have anything remotely similar. So I had to sort of mix my own, but it wasn't quite how I wanted it to be. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the nails now and we'll speed that up. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some top coat to the bottom of the nails just so that way they're super glass like and that you can really see through them. They were a little bit foggy before so I'm hoping that this will help. And off camera I did want to mention I did a few more layers of the colors and I went over some of the black outlining just to really make sure that the colors were nice and intense how I wanted. I wanted to make sure that the outline was just really defined. So here's how the nails came out. I really like how they came out. They didn't come out quite how I wanted. I wanted them to be a little bit more glass-like and like see-through, um, like you can see his is. But I'm still really happy with the outcome. I think I just might need some different jelly colors. I only have a couple and so some of them I had to mix myself with some clear and it just doesn't give off quite the same effect but it was still really fun to try and it's definitely something that i might want to revisit in the future and for the born pretty full cover gel system this was super easy to use it took no time at all super quick super simple the little lamp was perfect super great for beginners or if you just want to be doing your nails at home and you don't want to go to the salon anymore this is perfect for you i would absolutely recommend it everything will be linked down below once again anything that i use today anything that i mentioned it's all down below thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time